Good morning everyone. It is Monday the 20th of December and welcome to our reading for this morning for Advent. We're going to continue the account of Christmas and the first Christmas from Luke chapter 2. This morning we're going to read Luke 2 verses 21 down to 32. Let's hear God's word. Eight days later, when the baby was circumcised, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel even before he was conceived. It was time, it, then it was time for their purification offering as required by the law of Moses after the birth of a child. So his parents took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. The law of the Lord says, if a woman's firstborn child is a boy, he must be dedicated to the Lord. So they offered a sacrifice required by in the law of the Lord, either a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. At that time, there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was righteous and devout and eagerly awaiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him and had revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. That day, the Spirit led him to the temple. So when Mary and Joseph came to present the baby Jesus to the Lord as the law required, Simeon was there. He took the child in his arms and praising God, saying, Sovereign Lord, now let your servant die in peace, as you have promised. I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all people. He is a light to reveal God to the nations. He is the glory of your people, Israel. Amen. The story of that first Christmas continues beyond the stable of Bethlehem. We get little bits and pieces of what happens in those first few days of Jesus' life. And here is a time when, because they are Jewish, they take Jesus, first of all, to be circumcised and then to dedicate him to the Lord because he's the firstborn son. And then this man, Simeon, who is there, who knows that there's going to be a prophecy, who knows that it's about the Messiah, sees Jesus and his heart lights up. And he says these words, I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all people. Simeon really gets what it's about. Simeon really understands that the Messiah is coming for everybody. He goes on to say, he is the light to reveal God to the nations. He is the glory of your people, Israel. Yes, Jesus was born into the tribe of David. He was born into the nation of Israel. But he's a saviour for all people. Jesus, the Messiah, is not just for the, the Jewish people, not just for Israel, but for all of the world. He is God's chosen one. Imagine being there that first Christmas. Imagine being Simeon, having had that promise that uh, you, would, you wouldn't pa die until you saw the Messiah. And um, being drawn to the temple that day and then seeing this child and the Holy Spirit says to you, that's the Messiah. Can you imagine that happening? Can you imagine the joy in Simeon's heart as he realised he was seeing the Messiah? It must have been wonderful. It must have been incredible. But then the whole story of Christmas is incredible. The whole journey of the, the, the wise men, of, of the, the shepherds seeing the angels, of going down to see this little baby, of talking to people afterwards. The whole story is absolutely incredible and wonderful because it's all about God's love for us. As we thought about yesterday in church, a sacrificial love which led aside the needs of God and the needs of Jesus to take care of the needs of us, his people. That's who this Jesus is. That's who our God is. That's who the Messiah is, as he is the salvation for all people. Let's pray and let's thank God. Father, thank you again this morning as we think about the wonderful news the Messiah sent not just for Israel, but for all people. Father, to be Simeon, to be able to see this happening in reality, how he must have felt so blessed by you, so privileged. And yet, Lord, we have a greater privilege because we have all the stories, all the accounts, all the knowledge of, of what 
happened that first Christmas and the days that lay afterwards. And we can read it all and we can learn about you. Father, you have given us such a great privilege. But then that's because you love us so much. And for that, we are so grateful. Lord, may we not miss your sacrificial love, but may we welcome it with open arms and welcome you. Father, thank you. Now and always, in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Uh, take it that, or just ask that you would have a good day today. Take care and stay safe. And may you know God's peace and blessing. See you again tomorrow. Bye for now.